The power loader can be installed by yourself, and we'll show you how to do that on this video. But if you have a friend that can help you, it will make it easier, as they're able to hold things for you while you're tightening things down. For this project, you'll need a socket wrench with a half inch deep well socket, as well as a 7 16 deep well socket and a 7 16 wrench. A small tape measure will also be useful. Now when you open your power loader box, you'll notice a plastic bag containing an instruction booklet as well as all the nuts and bolts and other pieces of hardware that you'll need to install your power loader. It's a good idea to put these items out and arrange them on a table or other workspace so you have easy access to them when you need them. The power loader itself, for the most part, is already assembled. We're just assembling the mounting system that goes onto your ATV. The first thing you'll do is you'll take out the two mounting brackets and open them up and lay them on top of your ATV front rack. Your front rack size will dictate the way we install the power loader onto your ATV. As you can see, on this particular ATV, there's a bar located right here that you'll work around. Yours might be wider or narrower, or you may have one located in this spot. Now measure the distance between your two brackets. Because the distance on ours is 10 inches wide, we know that it can be mounted on the outside of the power loader frame. If your front rack measures closer towards 8 inches, then all you have to do is take the brackets and swap them like you see here, and mount them on the inside of the power loader frame. You'll notice two sets of holes that you can mount your bracket to. Choose the holes that fits your desired height. Now, using the supplied wing knobs, bolts, and spacer washers, attach the mounting bracket to the power loader. At this stage, tighten it down just to the point of being snug not very tight. By the way, you might need to use the spacers to help fit your ATV. The spacers also can be used as washers against the wing knob like you see here. Next, arrange your U-bolts and spacers on the rack. This will make it a little easier for you if you're installing the unit by yourself. Now lift the power loader up against the front of your ATV, making sure that the mounting bracket sits on top of the front rack. You can use your body to hold the power loader in place, leaving your hands free to secure the mounting bracket to the ATV front rack. Again, here you have multiple choices of holes that you can choose from depending upon the size of your rack. Using the supplied hardware, place the attachment plate down first, then the washers, and then add nuts onto the U-bolts. At this stage, you don't need to tighten the nuts down all the way. We'll do that in a few minutes. Repeat the process on the other side. Once you've completed one on each side, you don't have to hold it with your body anymore. Now you can move around and add the other two U-bolts to the front part of your rack. There are no holes here. Simply put the U-bolt and attachment plate around the mounting bracket and your ATV's front rack. Now tighten down all of the nuts onto the U-bolts. Next, take your end wrench and use it to help tighten down the wing knobs. Next, you're gonna attach your two tie downs. These are for strapping down your load to the power loader. 
Very simply, wrap the tie down around the front part of the power loader cradle and then pass the end through the loop and pull it through itself. Next, you're going to attach the ratchet straps from the bottom of the power loader unit. This hole here. To the skid plate underneath the bottom of your ATV. Then ratchet it tight. Now do the same thing on the opposite side. Finally, you will let out your winch cable. Run the end through the power loader like you see here. and attach it at this point. Now we're going to show you a couple of important things about using the power loader. For demonstration purposes, we're using this UTV. It works the same on a four-wheel ATV. To lift the power loader, retract your winch cable and bring the cradle up to the point where it's level off the ground. Now you're gonna take your square pins and put them in the slot on each side of the cradle. These pins must be put in place at this point when you have a load. Then continue lifting the power loader by retracting the winch cable till it's all the way up. When your power loader is not in use, you can remove those pins and fold the cradle forward till it's flat. and then replace the pins. For more information on how to use your power loader, check out our video titled, Power Loader, Loading a Deer. Thanks for watching and make it a great day.